everyone, this is Jay Kalpana here. In this video, we are going to solve a differential equation from higher order linear differential equation. So, let's get going. Problem. Solve d plus 1 whole square into y equals to e power minus x cos x. So, firstly, let's find the order and degree of the given differential equation. Identify the highest derivative firstly. Okay, in order to find derivative, I mean highest derivative, we need to expand d plus 1 whole square. Right? So let's expand d plus 1 whole square. We'll get d square plus 1 plus 2d. Now the given equation becomes d square plus 1 plus 2d into y equals to e power minus x into cos x. Here d square is the highest derivative, so our order will be 2. And highest power of the highest derivative is a degree. Okay, highest power of the highest derivative is a degree. Degree is 1. Or just write this equation as, we know that d is a differential operator, right? Then d square is d square by dx square. Now, write this equation as d square y plus 1 into y y plus 2 dy equals to e power minus x into cos x. Then this becomes d square y by dx square or we can just write it as right plus y plus 2 into dy by dx equals to e power minus x cos x. Here d square y by dx square is the highest derivative. So our order will be 1. Sorry. Order will be 2. And highest power of the highest derivative is a degree. Degree is 1. Now coming to the problem. Given differential equation. d plus 1 whole square into y equals to e power minus x into cos x which is in operator form f of d into y equals to q where f of d equals to d plus 1 whole square and q is e power minus x into cos x. Now we need to find the general solution to the given equation which is given by y equals to yc plus yp. Here yc is a complementary function, yp is a particular integral. We will find yc using the rules of the auxiliary equation or the homogeneous equation or the given non-homogeneous equation. Simply by putting RHS to 0, we will get the homogeneous equation of the given non-homogeneous equation. And we will find yp using 1 by f of d into q. So first we will find yc and then we will go for yp. The auxiliary equation of f of d into y equals to 0 is f of m equals to 0 where f of m equals to we have f of d d plus 1 whole square right. Let's replace differential operator with m so that we'll get f of m equals to m plus 1 whole square. Then, auxiliary equation becomes m plus 1 whole square equals to 0. Again, we can write it as m plus 1 into m plus 1. Now, equate each factor to 0. See, m plus 1 is repeating twice, okay? If m plus 1 equals to 0, then we'll get m equals to minus 1 since m plus 1 is repeating twice. So, we'll get m equals to minus 1, minus 1, repeated root. Right? Or equal roots we can say. Therefore, m equals to minus 1, minus 1 are the roots of f of m equals to 0, which are equal. We know that when two roots are equal, say m1 equals to m2, then our complementary function will be 
c1 plus c2x into e power x sorry not e power x e power that equal root into x since we are having two equal roots so we'll get two terms under brackets now let's write our complementary function y c equals to c1 plus c2 x into e power equal root into x right which is equals to c1 plus c2 x into e power minus x which is our required complementary function right therefore y c equals to c1 plus c2 x into e power minus x now let's find y p we'll find y p in two ways We'll find y p particular integral using one by f of d into q. We have f of d and q where f of d is d plus one whole square and q is equal minus x into cos x, right? So this is all one by f of d into e power ax into v form right now we'll shift e power ax towards the left by replacing d with d plus a and later we'll operate v with 1 by f of d plus a okay now compare e power minus x with e power ax then for a equals to minus 1 we'll find d plus a which is equals to d minus 1 right now shift e power minus x towards left and replace this d with d minus 1. We'll get d minus 1 plus 1 whole square into cos x. Right? Is equals to e power minus x into 1 by d. Just I'm opening these brackets. We'll get d minus 1 plus 1 whole square into cos x. Here, minus 1 plus 1 gets cancelled and we'll get e power minus x into 1 by d square into cos x. Right? Then, yp equals to e power minus x into, we can split 1 by d square as 1 by d into 1 by d into cos x. We know that 1 by d is an integral operator. Then find integral cos x dx here. Which is equals to e power minus x into 1 by d into integral cos x dx is sin x. Again we are having one more 1 by d. An integral operator. So let's find integral sin x dx which is equal to e power minus x into integral sin x dx is minus cos x which is equal to minus e power minus x into cos x. Therefore, yp equals to minus e power minus x into cos x. Okay. Now let's see. Another method. Just expand d plus 1 whole square. Then we will get d square plus 2d plus 1 into e power minus x into cos x. This is also of 1 by f of d into e power ax into v form, right? Now, let's shift e power minus x towards left by replacing d with d minus 1. Then we will get d minus 1 whole square plus 2 into d minus 1 plus 1 into cos x. Right? Then y p becomes e power minus x into 1 by expand d minus 1 whole square. We will get d square plus 1 minus 2 d plus 2 into d plus 2 d plus into minus minus 2 into 1 2 plus 1 into 
cos x is equal to e power minus x into 1 by d squared. Here minus 2d plus 2d gets cancelled. Plus 1 plus 1 is plus 2 minus 2 into cos x. Again plus 2 minus 2 gets cancelled and we will get e power minus x into 1 by d squared into cos x. Let's split 1 by d squared as 1 by d into 1 by d. We know that 1 by d is an integral operator. So let's find integral cos x here. We will get e power minus x into 1 by d into integral cos x dx. Which is equal to e power minus x into 1 by d into integral cos x dx is sin x. Again we are having. 1 more 1 by d an integral operator so let's find integral sin x dx which is equal to e power minus x into integral sin x dx is minus cos x which is equal to minus e power minus x into cos x. See we got the same yp. Now we got yc and yp so let's find the general solution. The general solution given by y equals to yc plus yp then y equals to yc we have c1 plus c2x into e power minus x and yp is minus e power minus x into cos x. Okay? This completes the problem. So we have seen a problem from higher order linear differential equations in this video. Hope you will understand. We will see you in the next video. Until then. Bye bye.